Jones. It's going to be a fascinating match and one not to be missed with uh, kickoff at uh, 2000 GMT. Now, it's a huge year of rugby with the World Cup in September and the Six Nations, of course, before that. One man who's been cooking up something a little bit different away from the sport is the England and Northampton forward James Haskell, who joins us now. Cooking for Nutrition is the book that you've, um, you've put your name to. Um, it seems as though you're probably going to be a busy guy juggling that alongside rugby, I imagine. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, of a workaholic, to be honest with you. I've always, uh, early on in my career, I kind of took a lot of criticism for doing stuff off, off the field. But actually, I, I think, um, you know, doing things outside of your sport actually gives you more balance and more focus on what you're doing. And, and, and Cooking for Fitness was kind of another um, book that I wanted to, to put out there because so many people get confused about nutrition. You know, everybody's now in this health and fitness world, but everybody's got crazy fads. Uh, you know, when I was a young player coming through, you know, I used to read Men's Health and look on the internet for different tips and I got conflicting advice. So I wanted to create a, a book that was really simple, um, which tasted great, which was good for anybody, not just for big meatheads like me. Well, it's, and it bodes well, isn't it? You know, heading into the New Year, New Year's resolutions and all, and, and you know, a more healthier lifestyle. We know at the moment you're, you're currently out injured. Is, is this book, you know, and those nutrition tips, is that going to get you to the, to the Rugby World Cup, of course, which is round the corner in September? I'd like to say it is the miracle guide that's going to get me there, but I think I might be overselling things. I think, you know, uh, eating well uh, uh, is, is, you know, that kind of 10%, those 10% extras that, that people talk about that will make the difference to your health, to your sleep, to your recovery, um, to your ability to perform. You know, it's actually interesting, the more I've sort of got into professional sport, the more I see other sportsmen who, because they train all the time, actually don't eat that well because they've got a fast metabolism, they're always exercising, they actually eat badly. Um, so I've always liked to, to see what it's like to actually cha change those athletes and, and put them on a good diet from start to finish. And, uh, you know, myself personally, it's something I've always taken really seriously. A lot of people think that being a rugby player, we've got a gun to our head saying you've got to eat this, you've mm. got to do that. It's very restrictive. But actually, like most things in life, it's down to you as a person to control what you do. And, mm. and Cooking for Fitness was about... Um, showing people who in this new year new you kind of era yeah. um how to eat properly for whatever their goal so yeah. you know you might only play five side football in the week or you know you might train every single day in the gym but a lot of people aren't aren't eating and they get very confused about how they should eat um so there's little features in our book about you know how to track your food every recipe kind of comes yeah. with a barcode so you can use uh, app there's many apps out there but we use my fitness pal to track what you're eating and yeah. once you track what you're eating if you want to get bigger Eat more calories. You want to I, eat less? Take a, I should I should probably take a leaf out of your book and, and, and you know Look download shape, that. Know and you, well, I don't about. know about that. I'm nowhere near your size, James. I've got some way to go before that, I think. Um, fascinating stuff. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. And of course, best of luck in your bid to return to full fitness ahead of uh, the Rugby World Cup in September. Uh, for now, though, that is all from uh, Sport Today from myself, John Watson, and the rest of the team. Goodbye.